Hey, what's going on everybody? It's uh, JP from Summer Love and Jeep and thanks for tuning in to today's video. It's going to be maybe a quick little video. Uh, just going to show you how I have the awning set up on our overland trailer that we're building. Um, the awning that I'm running is actually directly from China from a rooftop manufacturer. They were called Sunday Campers. found them just searching on Google, just trying to find some deals and uh, bought it, I think, maybe over a year ago. And now that it's finally on, um, but I think I paid something like 120 bucks with shipping from China. Ridiculous. Um, looking at it, I don't think it's the greatest, but I didn't have a lot of money to put towards an awning on this project, and I just wanted to have something in the meantime, maybe down the road, be able to upgrade. Um, so, just going to show you how I have the awning set up mounted to the side of the trailer, and then I'm just going to deploy the awning and see how it looks see what the setup is because I I just opened the bag a bunch of ropes and poles fell out and then I mounted it up so um, yeah that's all I got so far <laughs> um, all right so uh, thanks for tuning into this video and if you like what you see hit the thumbs up button um, subscribe down below and follow along because the trailer is almost getting completed almost we're almost there and um, just doing a lot of stuff with the Jeep so um, been trying to make a video for a little while but it was raining and I was working and of course every day I'm off it's raining I'm not off today I have to go to work tonight so I'm just trying to get this one in see what I can do all right I'm also wearing the old man specs because I got uh, wood shavings behind my contact and then I think it scratched my uh, cornea uh, so even with even with protective glasses I got uh, dust in my eyes so I had to chuck my contacts and of course they were my last set so these awesome looking specs all right here we go let me show you what's going on all right so here's the awning set up it's in the uh, down position and then over here here's my uh, telescoping um, awning mount so I have an inch and a half stainless steel tubing here this is two foot in length and then I have a three three foot piece of inch and a half on the inside uh, what I did is I have a cotter pin here that I drilled out and that's in my to lock it into the down position I also drilled a hole down here uh, I was going to mount a, a nut with a set uh, bolt to like tighten it against here but this is actually pretty tight when it's in here so I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, so we'll see. On the inch and a half um, tubing, I then welded on the awning bracket. And you can see that. And then you can see here's the end of the inch and a half, and here's the inch that comes all the way down. Uh, so when I raise it, you'll see there's a whole bunch of holes here, so it's a, I've made it so it's very adjustable. Did the same thing down on this side. Here's the cotter pin, and same thing. Uh, so it was pretty easy to do. Uh, the hardest part was just uh, drilling all the holes. All right, uh, it's definitely easier to put it up with two people, but I am six four, so I have a big wingspan, so I can actually do it uh, by myself. All right, so let's uh, raise it into the up position and then I'm gonna open it up. Got it open, I got it in the up position, open the bag, I left the middle Velcro, and now I'm just gonna do the Velcro, pull it around, and uh, see how it looks. All right.
take one not so good. I need um it has a little tab to attach it in the back, so I there's no string on it. So I'm gonna try and rig something up real quick. And then I guess it came with poles, you have to manually put the poles in the corners. So it's kind of a two-person job. Alright, let me get a piece of string and then we'll try again. Alright. Alright, so a couple hours later, after their family came home, I uh, figured out I'm gonna use a bungee for now. Uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about where it attaches, but all right, let's give it a shot. Take two. Go take a look. All right, let's go take a look. So let's start with the uh, shoe over here. So I don't know if you can see. Here's the uh, tab. So basically I just hooked up a bungee cord and it's running to that and it's pretty tight. So it's pulling it in nice and snug. So this is the back of the trailer. We have full coverage. And then each pole comes through the top so you can loop the uh, the tie down and then tie it down and then there's extra tie down tabs here I guess you could tie it down there's a tie down here and another tie down here there's one on this side and then in the front I don't see one here in the front oh there it is got one here in the front so I anchored this one for now because otherwise it's going to pull in, but the reason why I actually went with this awning setup is that it gives you a full like rectangle in the front. So as you can see, it's not angled in the front. So here you can see it just goes straight across. So then we get full coverage because this door is going to have our slide out kitchen. So. With this door open, our kitchen's going to slide out, and it's going to be right here, and it's fully covered now by this awning. As opposed to if it was angled, it would come off here and be like coming back this way to this pole, possibly. So that was one of the reasons when I found this, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So pretty much the whole length of the trailer is straight and then it does an angled here. But it's a lot of coverage. It's a lot of space, which is really great, especially with having two kids. Uh, another thing I picked up with it there's a full screen enclosure. I don't think I'm gonna set it up, but it basically velcros onto the awning and it's got a very thick mesh. Pretty fine, so I don't think any bugs are gonna get through there, but it's got a lot of zipper doors all along it. Uh, and then it's got this bead which um, 
slides in along the aluminum awning mount, similar to like how the ARBs are. So, yeah, it's not too bad. The aluminum poles are kind of kind of flimsy-ish. I guess when you tie them down, they'll be all right. I already had one broken one, which I had to tape. The uh, pressure fitting that's inside here is not really working, so I taped it off. Not that big of a deal, but kind of annoying. Uh, so this is the mechanism where all the individual horizontals are located. Um, I don't know if you can see here, but I don't know if I did that when I dropped it numerous times in mounting it, but I'm going to have to pry that apart with a screwdriver to be able to slide the, uh, the screen room in. Um, so i have got to fix that. So I don't know if that happened during shipping or while I was mounting it numerous times, dropping it. And then this is the pole for the front that I that you have to slide flip out for the front. And then this edge is kind of this is all right. This is nice and wide, so I didn't damage that. Um, so yeah, it's it's a little breezy. It's about like five to ten mile an hour gusts right now, and it's holding up pretty good, but not being tied down, just the front. So. Stand by. Let's get an aerial shot. Alright, so here's an aerial view. I'm standing on my deck right now, but so here's the back of the trailer. And it actually fits really well with the uh, rooftop tent on. Uh, I may be able to slide the tent a little further back just to close the gap, but pretty happy with it. And then obviously the tent will flip out this way, and then underneath the tent we're going to have an annex room. Um, just to have in case for, you know, changing and storage and stuff, so yeah, this awning's pretty cool. Alright, so one last thing just to show you, the awning came with a ton of ropes, so for every pole and for every one of those tabs it came with a rope, and it has uh, plastic uh, toilet adjuster, and then I have a bag full of stakes. So that, and um, so that's really nice too. So everything you need. All right, what's going on, everybody? So that is the direct from China uh, Overland Trailer awning that I have. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to link to their website and uh, an email for a contact, and I'll look up and see how much I actually paid for it. Um, so I will list all that all down below in the comment before the comment section. So if you have any questions, you can also comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Again, I think it was a little over a hundred bucks for the awning, and then uh, I think the screen room might have been forty bucks or something like that. So I think it was under two hundred. And ended up, what I ended up doing is I bought the awning, the screen room, and then I bought an annex, which I think will fit the the Smitty Belt tent. And I think for all of that, it was under 500 bucks with shipping from China directly. Um, obviously, I was just by myself. If you were to get a group buy together, you could all go, a bunch of people could go in and one big shipment, it would be way cheaper. Um, so yeah, so there's a couple of things about the awning that I don't like. One, the poles that came with it are kind of flimsy. I, one is already broken now, so I have to tape that one off. I might just replace it. Um, you know, there's the, you know, the aluminum um, 
where you put the bead in for the uh, the awning attachment bent. So I don't know if I bent it or it was bent in shipping. Um, it's definitely probably a two-person setup, just the way so that way it doesn't bend on that um, joint where all the uh, horizontals come out. So that's something to think about. But other than that, it was pretty easy to set up once I figured it out and uh, did a test run. Um, so yeah, I would dec definitely recommend staking down all the poles at least. Uh, the extra tie points are really good, especially if it's windy. Um, and once again, the main reason why I went with this one as opposed to some of the other ones, actually two main reasons. One, I got a really sweet deal on it because it was pretty cheap from China. <laughs> and the second reason is the front being totally squared off so that way it totally covers where our slide out kitchen is going to be. Um, so those were the two main reasons. Um, so haven't used it yet, can't really say how it's going to hold up. Uh, I hope it holds up because I don't, <laughs> maybe for a couple of years at least and then uh, we might upgrade to something a little better. But uh, for right now it's... But for right now it'll do fine just to get us using the uh, trailer. So, yeah, that's all I got. And if you have any, like I said, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll answer as best I can. And uh, stay tuned for more uh, on the Overland trailer build. Uh, I'm working on the kitchen right now. So I'm gonna have some updates. I'm just waiting on um, our heavy duty sliders so I can start doing the mounting brackets inside the trailer. But once that's done, it's a few more welding, a few more welds I have to do and then I can actually start painting and not have to worry because I'm trying to finish all the welding even for down the line stuff. Alright, enough talking. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe below. Uh, every thumbs up helps grow the channel. And here's some videos you might like uh, that I've done before. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a great weekend and have a happy Labor Day weekend. I'm going to try and make another video this weekend and update what I've actually done on the trailer that I haven't updated already. Alright, so thanks for watching.